How did you get in TD? I won a recruitment challenge. I won the very last recruitment challenge that we put up. It was a lot of fun. Super nerve wracking the entire time. I was scared to death that I wouldn't make it to the next round every single time that they started announcing the winners. And I did. And I kept winning. And I kept winning and advancing onto the next stage. And then the day finally came where they announced who won the recruitment challenge and got into the team. And um, I cried. I cried like the biggest baby. I cried so hard. I was so excited. The joy, the pure joy and, and the tears of joy. God, that was the best feeling ever. So lucky. TD on top. Why do I that up? Cut that out. <laughs> we got to get some kind of handshake going on for TD. What's going on, baby? It's the microwave, a.k.a. TD Mike. And today we're answering some questions on the Team Diverge AMA. Let's get to it. Who's the fastest? I'm definitely the fastest in TD. I'm definitely the fastest in TD. Uh, that's hands down me. I don't think there's anybody faster than me in TD. Um, a close second is maybe Juju. I don't know. Probably Juju. If you take Juju out of the question, hey, I think, I think it's me. I don't think nobody is really beating me in a 40-yard dash other than Juju. I think I can easily run in probably like the four sevens in a 40-yard dash, but um, we're gonna have to actually take a video and see this for a fact. At the TD meetup, we had a race, and the last one in the race would get cut off the team, and so. Uh, I'm still here, so I'm one of the fastest people on the team. Nobody in TD's beating me in a race, on a foot race. Y'all not, it's not happening. It's not happening. I might just be the fastest. I don't know. Spooky Haley, if you could be a character in any video game, which one would it be and why? I would love, that's a hard one. That's a lot to think about. There's a lot of video games, a lot of main characters, but the one that I'm gonna go with is Tony Hawk. That man got a video game named after himself and is one of the most iconic games of all time. This man has Spider-Man in the game and Lil Wayne. So, yo, shout out Tony Hawk, the greatest skater of all time. Why, woo! The character in any video game. The character in any video game. <clears throat> oh, man. I've played so many video games in my 24 years of living that it's like, uh, that's tough. We link from Legend of Zelda. Hey, listen. <laughs> I think this goes between two different choices of mine. I would have to be Link from Legend of Zelda, or I would have to be Ash from Pokemon, or maybe Brock from Pokemon. It's got to be one of those guys. Take it as you will. In any video game, I would probably be probably Nathan Drake. He's just a very cool individual. Very cool. How did you get your gamer tags? Okay, I get this question a lot. Squiggle is a really weird name. People ask me where it comes from. I was in a drug prevention class in seventh grade, right? So we're sitting in this drug prevention class and um, I was one of those guys that never wanted to go up to the room or to the front of the room and do anything, say anything in front of anybody, any of that shit. I did not like it. But now here I am streaming. I don't really know where my life, how I got here. But anyway, I didn't want to go up there. So, you know, when you don't want to go up there that bad, they call on your ass to go up there. You had to write your name on the whiteboard, draw a line, and then you had to spin around really fast, right? And then after you're super dizzy, they want you to write your name under that. And I wrote a perfect B, because I was kind of just feeling it out. Kind of like if I were to write my name with my eyes closed, what it would just feel like, the movement in my hand. And I put the marker back down to do the R. And I just drew this big squiggle down the whole board and fell to the ground. And this guy named Chance calls me Squiggle, and I was making my gamer tag when I got my first 360. And one of the hardest things in the world you'll ever do is come up with your first gamer tag. And nobody had ever called me Squiggle in my whole life. And I was like, I kind of like Squiggle. The first iteration of my gamer tag was B. 
because that's you know what I got on the board. Space, squiggle, space, my favorite number, 14. Be squiggle 14. Squiggle was born. I feel like I have a pretty weird story from mine. Basically, when I started playing Fortnite, I played a lot with my brother. And he decided that he loved the blue pump so much that he was gonna make his name Blue Shoddy. And then we played duo so much that I was like, you know what? I love the color blue. I love sniping. I love the bolt. I'm gonna go all in with you and make it Blue Snipey. And then I started streaming and it kind of just stuck. And it's been Blue Snipey ever since. So, funny story. My name used to go as Eric McDaddy. I look cringe, don't hate. Listen, I was a kid, I thought it was funny at the time, until I was at VidCon and I had to meet people. And they're like, yo, what's your what's your at name? And I was like, hmm, my name is Eric. And I didn't really, <laughs> I didn't know what to say, so I just went by Eric. But now, my name is Eric Van Gogh, and it's to pay homage to the late and great Vincent Van Gogh. So my name is Micah, M-I-C-A-H. And I combine that with microwave. So Micah microwave equals microwave. My name is OG Pavaroni, and my gamer tag is from uh, ordering so many pepperoni pizzas from my local Domino's. Um, they ended up just giving me the nickname OG Pepperoni because they're like, oh my god, like you're back again. I'm like, yeah, like good morning, happy breakfast, like what's up? And I would always order pepperoni pizzas, and eventually they just kind of gave me the nickname, OG Pepperoni. But when I wanted to go to my gaming career, I changed it to OG Paparoni because I, uh, I don't know, I just feel like switching it up a bit. Alright, I didn't want the Domino's to find my Twitch stream. Who has the best feet in TV? Nope. Can't do it. I don't know. I haven't seen everybody's toes, so it's really hard to decipher who's got the best little piggies in town. But I do want to say, I think Steel Curtain has got the nicest, nicest little puppy sound there. I probably would have the best feet in TD, surprisingly. Uh, very succulent, very, 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 uh, very, very nicely shaped. If I was to say who had the best feet in TD, my money would actually be on death. And the reason why, I don't know, Death kind of strikes me as someone who's going to go get a mani-pedi and really take care of his feet. And that's just basically why I think so. They don't smell the best, but uh, I'm also missing a toenail. I, I'm, I'm missing a toenail. Yeah. And I think it's very, I think it's pretty attractive. I think it's pretty cool. Cassie Rose. Shout out Cassie Rose. Uh, if you didn't go off of trending games, what game would you play because you truly enjoy it? Honestly... I love trending games. Uh, my favorite game at the moment is Warzone. So I play Warzone. If not Warzone, I play 2K. My go-to game would probably be 2048. Uh, I love that game. I love swiping the little tiles up and down, back and forth. And it's like a really good like game for the brain. Like you're really thinking really hard. And that's like my favorite. I know 2K is a trending game, but I would probably play 2K. Even though I hate it sometimes. I'm a gamer. Period. I'm an elite gamer. Period. So whatever I feel like playing, I'm gonna play. Probably Uno. I played this game called Bum Simulator 2. Bum Simulator is lit. Bum Simulator is lit. If you haven't tried it, it's very funny. It's not, you know, it's not the, 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 the greatest game. You feel what I'm saying? It's not the greatest game graphically and all that other stuff. But it's very fun. Very fun. Um... And Uno, you can't go wrong with some Uno. You feel me? Real Tyler N asked, to every Team Diverge member, what is your motivational quote for young kids who look up to you on a daily? Um, there's this one quote that I really like that I always used to see in my elementary class. It was, shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll follow along the stars. Some people ask me, why don't you have a real job? Why don't you have a real job? I'm grinding so one day I can make this, what I'm doing right now a real job stop being comfortable with being comfortable it's to break the barriers and work for greatness you know what i'm saying so live beyond life have the greatest time of your life you know we were trapped in for a whole year and a half with quarantine so just go out and be great do what you always done get what you always gotten simple you know what i mean you you are your own you know best friend you're your best enemy depends how you want to look at it Time management. Don't get mad, get better.
And you can literally apply that to every facet of your life. Everything, man. Put aside your anger. Improve yourself. You know? Get better. Reach for the stars and don't be afraid of failure. Because what you really want to do is set your dreams and capture them and achieve them. If you really love what you do, if you really love... If you really have a passion for something, you're gonna go out of your way. You're gonna find a way. It doesn't matter what's in your way. It doesn't matter what's stepping in front of you. It doesn't matter what's trying to put you down. You you will find a way to get it done. I made a name for myself from zero, zero on zero on all platforms. And I can tell you one day I tell my one day I'll tell my story to the world. But I've I've been there's been a lot of things in my way. I'll tell you that much. And you know. When I come home, the, the, the thing, I, it doesn't matter how bad the day has been. I know that when I get home that night, I'm coming home to this. I'm coming home to play video games and make content and entertain the masses. So that just, once I hit, once I get in here, everything behind me, everything that happened previously in the day is just, it's just gone. You know, like, it just makes everything so much better because I love it, you know? Last question. Blitz, LOL. Does Vex smell? Until Vex goes to Warzone, that boy's always going to smell. Hey, listen, nothing wrong with Fortnite. You know, do your thing on Fortnite. But once Vex hop on to Warzone and Fortnite, that boy's going to smell to me. But yo, thank you guys for your time. I love y'all. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys haven't already, like this video, subscribe, comment what you want to see next, and you guys already know. TD on top, baby swag. Woo!